Picture this. You're a student. You've been accepted into a great school, moved to a new city, and you've made new friends with some people you want to live with. Even better, you've been lucky enough to find a great place to live. At first, everything seems fine. The landlord seemed nice, the apartment was cheap, and everything was working perfectly. But then, it happens. The homeowner of the property was never on, on site. Two, the people who would come in and fix things that were broken that we didn't break would do a haphazard job to where <laughs> if they would fix something, it would get worse <laughs> than what it was supposed to be. And the fact that we were paying $3,000, that was just rent. That wasn't even including utilities. It was just ridiculous to me because we were paying this much money and we can't even get basic things fixed. Something breaks, something is stolen, you hear something in the walls. We had a situation where we heard mice in our kitchen and in our walls, and we'd see like droppings around the house. And we told our landlord about it, and he said that it never happened before. He's never heard anything about that before. So it was really like our thing to deal with. It felt like a situation where he was just like, oh, well, this is new to me, and I never had to deal with it before, and I'm going to keep it that way. You contact the property manager, but nothing gets done. Worse over, you consult your lease, and you find nothing to support you. That one also had the crazy landlady where she just like comes whenever she wants to without like letting us know. And she, one time she was just banging on the door and I thought it was a thief. So we were like, wait, what was that? And my roommate, we walked out. And then there was this lady, she was like, oh, by the way, I'm your landlady. And I'm like, you were supposed to like let us know it's illegal. It's like, I don't know, but at the same time, like we're poor students and there she's like a rich lady. So it's like you don't want to really have trouble with her. And that's the end of it, right? The term tenants rights refers to a legal standard set in place by a local government to protect renters from being taken advantage of by those who rent to them. While there might be overlap, tenants rights are separate and more comprehensive than a lease contract. These rights cover a variety of common issues. Tenants' rights are also publicly available online. Despite this, most young renters have not read their rights, and many don't even know that they exist. In a poll conducted amongst California College of the Arts students, only 35% of students had read their tenants' rights. This lack of understanding can lead to uncomfortable and sometimes dangerous living conditions for renters. So what can we do? The first step is reading your tenants' rights. Set aside time to understand what it means and what you can do. If you're having trouble, ask a friend. The more people who know, the better. You can also become an advocate for yourself by speaking to other students and your school. Make it clear that this is an important issue that you want resources for. If you're still having trouble, the good news is that there are people to help. Local areas typically have tenant unions or organizations that specialize in making sure that your rights are being respected. Standing together is the best way to dismantle a system that takes advantage. 